Hi, good afternoon folks. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2019 on a 19 plate Foxall Combo 1.6 CDTI Sportive. Sportive being the top of the range specification in these vans. Obviously first of the new shape on a 19 plate. This is a one keeper from new vehicle. Covered 58,000 warranted miles direct off lease. Uh, in pretty good overall condition. For those of you that haven't watched our videos before, the purpose of these videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the van so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. The vast majority of our customers do actually buy, haven't watched these videos, leave a deposit and come and collect or leave a deposit and have a uh, quote for delivery. So there's a couple of different options there for you. So first of the new shape combos, it is the 1.6 CDTI Euro 6 engine. So if you're going into any of the emission zones, uh, then there's no charge for any of that. Um, and obviously, as I've already mentioned, Sportive top spec van in the lovely grey metallic that you see this one. So let's get going with the video. Let's start up here on the roof so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're looking at. Hopefully you can see nice and straight up there. It hasn't come into us with a roof rack on it or anything like that. So we're looking pretty good. Windscreen, windscreen's overall good condition. No major stone chips or cracks that are gonna cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time, of which we will be putting a fresh 12 months on this one before it goes out the door. Down onto your bonnet, bonnet and the front bumper and your front grills are all in good condition with no major damage. Round to your passenger side headlamp unit, that's all good. Passenger side front bumper corner, that's all good. And if we look down the side profile of the van, hopefully you can see a couple of things to take note really. Have a look at the reflection in that paintwork. Uh, this one has just come back from our detailer, so our detailer validated this one. It's got a lovely gleam to the, uh, to the paintwork. Nice mirror finish to it. And as we look down it, there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. It's very straight and tidy. Around to the driver's side, driver's side headlamp unit, that's all good. They are automatic lights on this vehicle, to be fair. And then down to your driver's side front bumper corner. Now there is, all the way down here, a scratch on the paintwork there, okay? Um, as you can see, the position of it, it's right at the bottom of the bumper. Uh, I'm sure we can probably get that smart repaired should you need it done. Looking down the driver's side profile, and again, a nice mirror finish to the paintwork, and again, no major dents or dings to point out to you. Driver's side front wing with side repeaters, all good. Driver side front steel wheel, factory hubcap. Uh, hubcap's in good order, you've got an Avon tire on the front there, that tire has plenty of tire tread depth as you can see there. Where we are with tire tread depths, anything less than three millimeters, we replace the legal limit being 1.6. Uh, mirror unit, cover, and the mirror itself, all in good order. Driver side door glass, overall good condition as well. And then coming down to your driver side door, and that is also in good condition with no damage. Door lock and handle all looking good. Have a look at your alignment of your doors as I bring the camera down. Just a couple of minor touch-ins to do on the door edges, but nothing major there either. And then getting down nice and low and your lower sills, those are in good condition. Your protective strip down the side of the vehicle, that's also in good order. And your driver's side rear quarter, that's in good condition as well. No damage to that. Driver's side steel wheel, factory hubcap. That hubcap does have some damage to it. We've got another Avon tire, and in actual fact, hmm, I was going to say whether that's a stone chip or a um, thingy midrig off. So I guess I'll soon find out when we get back to base whether it's got any air in it. But overall, tire tread depth is all looking good. Looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, just another viewpoint looking down the side of the van. And you can see, nice condition, isn't it? Driver side rear light unit's all good. Driver side rear bumper corner is all good. No scuffs around to the rear end of the vehicle. And you've got a 60-40 split on the rear barn doors. Barn doors in overall good condition. High level brake lights all good. Have a look at your door edges as I bring the camera down and you can see overall good condition with no damage. Rear door handle locks all good. And your rear bumper, there are some minor, minor wear and tear marks on the colour coded bumper. If it was a black one, you wouldn't notice them, but being colour coded, there are some minor bits. We will get those touched in for you. And then opening up the back of the van, we have nice factory. Um, Oh my God, bulkhead, factory bulkhead. The word's gone straight out of my mouth. Factory bulkhead. 
Roof inside all looking good. As you can see, it's ply lined on your flooring as well. Sides are also ply lined. Paintwork on the back of the van on the inside is all looking neat and tidy as well. And then rear of the van here, all pretty neat and tidy. Rear doors inside, yes, there's elements of wear and tear there, but on the whole, they're in pretty good condition. Not completely battered. These aren't broken like they normally are. Everything is pretty as you would expect it to be for the age and the miles. Um, passenger side, passenger side light unit, that's all good. Passenger side rear bumper corner, that's all good, no scuffs. And then looking down the passenger side of the vehicle from this angle, again, you can see it's a nice, neat and tidy van. Upper quarter this side, that's all good. Lower quarter this side, you do have a little ding here. We'll see if the dent man can do anything with that for you. There is your fuel filler with your add blue filler. Don't get them mixed up. Obviously the add blue one's blue. This one is your lockable diesel. Passenger side, rear steel wheel, factory hubcap uh, in good condition, factory steel wheel, Avon tire, Avon tire, plenty of tire tread depth as you can see. We have just noticed a small little ding there and a little touch in required there, but you know, I am searching for stuff to show you now. Sliding door, again, overall good condition. Lower sills and your protective strips are in overall good condition as well. Passenger side front door, again, all good. Door handle and locks are good. Door handle sliding doors good. Alignment of your doors and your door edges are in overall good condition. A couple of minor touch-ins to do to the door edges, but nothing major. Passenger side front door glass is good. Mirror unit this side, again, all in good condition. And then your passenger side front wing with side repeater is again in good condition. Uh, passenger side front hubcap uh, and steel wheel, all in good condition. You've got a Devante tyre there, that is a budget tyre, but loads of tyre tread depth on that one. Uh, and let's move to the inside. So sliding door on this side, opens up, slides back nicely, holds into place as you'd expect. And then have a look at your door shuts. You can see these are in clean and tidy condition. Entry sills and plastics on this side are in good condition. There's a close up of your bulkhead. And then just another viewpoint of the back of the van from this angle. All looking pretty good. Um, passenger side. So passenger side, door card, nice and clean and tidy condition, no excessive abuse or wear or tear. Your door shuts are clean and tidy. Entry seals and plastics are all in pretty good condition. Carpet inside, all looking pretty neat and tidy as well. We have glove box on the upper part here with your book pack inside. And then top of your dashboard, as you can see, is also in good condition. Headlining and storage of the above there is all good. And then your passenger side seat and trim, that's all good. And then below your seats, your handbrake, etc., etc., all neat and tidy. There's your bonnet pull. We'll pull that and show you under there. So, underneath your bonnet, as you can see, give you an overview first of all. As you can see, overall, it's in a neat and tidy condition, isn't it? Windscreen wash. There's your coolant, correct colour coolant for this engine, and there's no contamination in there. Oil filler is here, dipstick over here, battery and fuse box over there. There's your bonnet stay there as well. I can't do that one-handed and hold your camera, but hopefully you can see it all looks in nice overall tidy condition inside driver's side door card again overall a neat and tidy condition electric windows and mirrors on this side your sills on the inside here we've got two little minor marks there on the sills but nothing major door shuts are in clean condition top of your dashboard over here is all good we have storage under there as well there we have auto lights side lights main lights and then you have your headlamp levelers here and your dashboard illumination on this side. Driver's side seat base, etc., all clean and tidy. Handle on the side here is for height adjustment. Bar on the front is to move the seat forwards and backwards. Floor on this side, overall good condition. Your pedal rubbers are all overall good condition as well. And then <clears throat> here is your dashboard. Let's just fire it up for you. So. 57,948 miles. 
On the steering wheel we have cruise control uh, with speed limiter actually. And then over this side we have your controls for your Bluetooth, your volume um, and search controls etc etc for your stereo. Right hand stalk is for your wipers, left hand stalk twist the outside of it. Uh, sorry, no, <laughs> left hand stalk indicators main beam. And then we have a button on the end which just runs you through your uh, computer system on your dashboard as well. We have DAB, FM, AM, we have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music on this system on the front here. The all important air conditioning, electronic stability program. I have no, I mean, you don't need a cup holder there, is it? So uh, there's a little, yeah, whatever, bit of storage there. Um, and then down here you have your cup holders etc so reverse gear all the way to the right and back towards you and that will activate your park distance display on there for you as well let's just turn those blower fans down a second and there we go interior lights etc at the top here but overall it smacks of a van that's been well looked after it's clean and tidy there's a couple of very minor cosmetics which i've pointed out to you so a few touch-ins a couple of dent mandings uh that little scuff on the front bumper there but overall clean tidy condition now there are 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Trustpilot, etc, etc. And if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest purchases, then like and subscribe to the YouTube fan channel, folks. Like and subscribe. Thanks for looking. There's about 12 minutes of your life you're never going to get back, but that gives you an honest description of exactly what the van is that you're looking at. Cheers for now.